Shanti would do us wonders. Do a roll call real quick. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Guardian Project Podcast Commander Stream. I am your host, Mike. And I'm your other host, Andy. And we are the Guardian Project Podcast. Uh, we record Commander Gameplay Weekly. Um, if you're checking this out on Twitch, thank you very much for joining us. If you're checking this out on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Um, we also have a podcast because we are the Guardian Project Podcast. And we release weekly episodes on Wednesday. Um, and you can listen to us. And, you know, maybe we've had some special guests in the past that you would really enjoy listening to. Um, maybe those guests happen to show up on our streams, too. Oh, who knows? Um, but tonight we are joined by two great guests. I'd like you to welcome them. First up, we have Lapper. Lapper, welcome to the stream. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Why don't you tell everyone uh, where everyone can find you, what you do in our magic community? Uh, sure. In that order, you can find me on Twitter at LapperMedic, L-A-P-P-E-R-M-E-D-I-C. You can see that in the stream corner right there. Um, as for what I do, I'm the manager of the commander spellbook project which is the commander combos search engine and uh we're part of the edia trek family proud to be there and i also have a, a podcast of my own i have the uh, social contract podcast which is uh, about political cards having fun at the table group hug group slug stacks chaos all the fun stuff uh, making sure people have a good time enjoyable play and uh just lots of fun over there. So yeah, again, I'm uh, I'm on Twitter at Lepromedic. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks for coming. And we're also joined by the Nan Man. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Thank you. And it's uh, the real name man, not oh, that I'm fake Nan Man that's running around. So <laughs> be careful if you guys see him. I don't know. <laughs> so many of those. There is. So, so yeah, I'm Nan Man. Um, I mainly do modern content over on YouTube at Modern Magic Mondays. Uh, I used to do like that whole like weekly tournament stuff back when I had free times and would go to tournaments and then, you know, all that lockdown stuff happened. And then I lived yep. in my house forever and was like, oh, Commander's fun. Let's just do a bunch of that. And so <laughs> I'm doing a lot of modern and Commander now. It's kind of like this biweekly style of play or, or give or take releasing content over there and just, you know, overall having fun on the Internet, being able to join cool people and play games on their streams. So thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, thank you very much for joining. Um, and I I am uh, Mike Coyle. I'm one half of the Guardian Project podcast. You can find me on Twitter at Worm Coil Engine and Andy. I'm the other half. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Andy Flory. Um, I also have an article series um, that you can check out on uh, Commander's Herald where I write about uh, ways to combat decks that make you say good grief. Um, why don't we go around and talk about what everybody's playing? Uh, sure. Lapper, you're going to be going first this game. Mm -hmm. Why don't we start with you? Right. Uh, today, at your request, I have my Emrakul the Promised End deck, a most unusual deck. It is uh, Group Hug Artifacts. And boy, howdy, you would not believe how many artifacts are in this deck. <laughs> there are so many. Uh, mostly artifacts, in fact. Anyway, uh, the objective of the deck is to ramp very quickly into uh, Group Hug pieces, ramping the rest of the table, get to Emrakul, and... Uh, then we do what Emrakul does, which is take control of other players' turns, uh, which can be either giving them a free extra turn, or if it's later in the game or I don't like you, then I'm going <laughs> to ruin your board. I'm going to make you put your commander in the graveyard. We're going to discard your hand. All the stuff you don't want to happen uh, is what Emrakul will make happen if you cross her. Chad, I asked for this deck to be on stream. You too, did. You well. asked for this deck. I specifically asked for this. We so haven't this had it on our stream. <laughs> you know exactly fault. who to blame, and it's not me. <laughs> uh, I specifically didn't play a, a deck that had a toxic deluge or something that says pay X life to do something because the number of times I've been gotten from that. Um, but I expect a lot of my creatures so, to die. So no, uh, no treasonous ogre in your mono red deck? There is no treasonous ogre in this oh, deck. We love I treasonous do. ogre. I it's do. such a we, good card. <laughs> we do like a treasonous ogre. Um, well, I guess I'm next. Yes. I'm playing Rionia Fire Dancer, so I have not. I don't believe I've actually played this game on our streams ever. So Rionia Fire Dancer. This this is built as an extra combat deck. Um, so Rionia says at the beginning of combat on your turn, you create X tokens that are copies of another target creature you control. 
where X is one plus the number of instants and sorceries you've cast this turn. Um, they get haste and you exile them at the next end step. Um, so I'm going to try to um, play a couple of instants and sorceries with some value creatures. Um, usually things that have pretty good ETBs. Some of them um, might help me go infinite, like a uh, um, combat celebrate. That one's pretty good. Um, here's a bunch of combats. Um, so we'll see. Um, but this has been tuned down. So if you have um, <clears throat> listened to our show um, when we did the big stats episode, I talked about how Rionia had like a 70% uh, win rate whenever anybody played it in a pod, not not even just me, but against other Rionia decks. So I really tried to, to tune this one down um, and we'll see if I did a good enough job. <laughs> uh, Nan Man, what are you playing? All right, so I'm playing the Bane of Monsters over here. So I'm going to be going hunting. Uh, last, this is like the second time I've played it on stream against people. Last time I played it, I was fighting against dragons and Eldrazi's and all kinds of crazy stuff. And it worked out pretty well about killing creatures, but I don't know how it's going to work tonight when we've got uh, the big baddie uh, Eldrazi on the other side of the table. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, my goal is to kind of death touch people to death over here. I've got some, you know, fin hidden in here. So maybe I can get some poison going as well since I love me some infect. Uh, I do have some Yogg Moth shenanigans in here. So just, you know, mess around with people with some death touch and hopefully draw some cards and gain some life. Awesome. Nice. Well, I am playing uh, Osgear the Reconstructor. This is the face commander f uh, from Strixhaven Lorehold deck. Uh, this is an artifact themed deck, and I'm going to call it an artifact themed deck because last time I played this, I did not um, achieve my real goal of the deck, which is milling all of my opponents out by making as many copies of Mesmeric Orb as possible. Yes. <laughs> So that is what I aim to do. Uh, hopefully that is not a strategy that the Emrakul player uh, hates me for. And then I get maybe some beneficial turns. Who, who knows? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's really not up to, to me. It's really up to her. That's fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, if you're watching this um, online, um, the links to our show will be in the show notes below. You can also find links to all these decks and our social media accounts if you want to reach out to us directly. Um, I think we're ready to get started. Lapper, do you want to kick us off? Yes. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good, Good luck, luck to you. I'm playing a multiplayer game, so I'll draw first. All right. Well, this is the mood that I want the deck to set. So it's the perfect uh -oh. Kokoro, center of the sea. Yes. Kokoro is a legendary land that draws the table cards. I like it. I like it. Anything else? I will pass my turn. All right. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a Forgotten Cave Tapped, and then I will pass the turn. All right that untap up keep draw stuff and i'm gonna play one of my favorite swamps it's that phyrexian one oh That's nice good. I like that. Uh, <laughs> but i got no turn one play so i'm gonna pass all right i will draw uh i'll play a mountain and i'll pass okay back to my turn untap upkeep draw Let's see what we got chat thank you everybody who's here tonight decane mr big bench to koval how's everybody doing i'm gonna play homeward path which we love no thieving around here no, no thieves only <laughs> mind control <laughs> okay. right. i'm gonna go ahead and uh get that thought vessel out oh nice and thought this will go into expedition map. Nice. All right. That's for me. Cranking this up. Untap. Draw. Listen, my commander's expensive. We got to get through. So do you play? <laughs> do you play Tron in that? Um, I tried Tron, but without land tutors, which I mean, how many land tutors are in colorless? Not too many. Yeah. Uh, it's really difficult to assemble. Yeah. 
Uh, one time Mike played Tron Lands and and played the uh, the Tempt with Discovery and none of us knew. We love so, that. So then That's we all so got one and he got all three Tron Lands. Yeah. And we were like, oh. I mean, I like it was better, okay. you, better you assemble <laughs> Tron than win the game on the spot. So. Well, I mean, one <laughs> thing led to another. <laughs> What did you do? Uh, Morophon into Fist of Sons into Cast All My Eldrazi for oh. free. Oh, wow. That's awful. <laughs> I'm going to play a mountain, and I'm going to play a Mind Stone, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Uh, Anthony says, anyone else noticing the pattern of Mike's decks having the subtitle, make as many X as we can? It's <laughs> an excellent it's not theme. wrong. Not wrong. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> All right, I got a forest and my swamp, and since we're just playing artifacts, I'll just play this arcane Ooh, segment. That's a pretty one. Look that's a good nice. one. I pass. like that forest too. That looks good. Right. Just like certain decks, I'm like, I'm gonna make you super spicy with all the cool <laughs> art. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I'm going to play a plains as my land for turn, and I'm also gonna play an artifact. I'm going to play Mycosynth Wellspring. Uh, when I enter the battlefield or go to the graveyard, I can search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into my hand. I am going to search for a basic planes and put it in my hand, and then pass the turn. Okay. One time. Keep. And draw. Land for turn will do uh, Haven, the Spirit Dragon. Which is a dragon tribal land. But uh, also does one other weird thing. Wouldn't believe. Try me. Well, its second ability here is that it can uh, get a Ugin Planeswalker out of the yard. Oh, Whoa! Wow. That's yeah. True. That's very specific. That's right. Well, there's two of them. There are two of them. Yeah, there are two of them. I hope we get a third one day. Maybe. I don't know with how war this bark ended. I don't know if we... Uh... It seemed like Ugin could leave. Oh, yeah. But then if he does, then maybe Bolus does, too. All right. Spoilers. Spoilers. Here's the mana crypt. Ooh. Foil? Ooh. Ooh. Go fast. Oh, yeah. Foil this promo. Is this is the Judge oh. mana crypt. Heck yes. And uh, mana crypt will go into Expedition Map, which will crack. I'll search for that in just a second so I don't waste any time. And uh, then we got some mana left over. I think that's. Uh... We're going to pay four into KCI. No. Now you'd be surprised. This actually doesn't run the KCI infinite. It's for <laughs> you know, You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. That would be a really easy infinite combo to use, wouldn't it? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tutor, and uh, I'll say what I get. But you can go ahead and take your next turn. Okay. A tap, draw for turn. Seems pretty good though. The card I just drew. I'm gonna play a mountain. Is that um, the card you just drew? <laughs> this seems pretty good. <laughs> I am going to strike it rich. I'm going to make a treasure. It has flashback. Nice. Um, do I have a treasure token in front of me? Oh my gosh. I conveniently do. Boom. Um, and then I am going to... Pay... One for a Rite of Flame to get two red and then a red for each. I think I'm just getting two, right? It's not five. It wouldn't be three, correct? Can this you... looks now for what's in the graveyard. I have no idea what the card does, if I'm being honest. Add red, red, then add red for each card named Rite of Flame in your graveyard. Oh, then yeah. It's, it's not yeah. going to be in the graveyard when yes. that correct. will be on the stack. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I am going to uh, add red, red. I'm going to gamble. Ooh. Oh. Do I know what I'm getting? Absolutely not. Uh, uh, mono red and tomb. That our was mono war room. Tomb. <clears throat> oh. War room goes to my hand. 
Oh, what was it? A war room? War it was room. war room. Which I actually say one. Three Great mana, card. and then life equal to the number of colors of my commander's identity, which is zero. <clears throat> That's true. That's, what a that, that card's good. definitely not a waste in that deck. <laughs> <laughs> I do run a couple of ways. Wow, I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> uh I'm gonna get not that I don't that's that's not what I should be getting. I'm gonna get something else. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get what I want. Shoes. Shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shoes. Shoes. Gosh, I haven't heard that in forever. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm gonna grab this. Ooh, I feel like this is You know what? I'm grabbing this. Do it. Go big. You're already home. Might as well. I'm already at my home. <laughs> <clears throat> Chat, someone give me a number. I need a one one through four. Oh, 25% chance. <clears throat> yeah, it's not great. It's not great. <clears throat> Probably should play that gamble first. Uh, we got a three from Decane. It's a port razor, which is not what I grabbed, actually. This was oh, in my hand. Nice. Okay. That was good. Um, I am going to pay three, because I have one floating, yep. for a Wheel of Misfortune. Uh -huh. <sighs> I, want to I keep like my hand. <laughs> you can just pay zero then, and you don't have to wheel. Yeah. I want to do that. Mm. It's a friendly wheel. Everybody loves this wheel. Um, everybody wants to go ahead and just get a number, um, and we'll reveal it all at the same time. Um, I'm going to give myself. Yeah, let's see. What do I have? I have a number that I've written down on this pad of paper. I will reveal when we are all ready. We do love that wheel. Gosh. Or does Andy love that wheel? Oh, we all love this wheel, chat. It's Everyone loves this wheel. Also, super affordable compared to Wheel of Fortune. That's very true. <laughs> okay. You need a wheel? Here's a wheel. All right, are we all ready? Nan yep. Man? Yep. All right, one, two, three, flip. Zero, zero, two, and three. So I will lose three life, and Mike and I will discard our hands and draw seven. Sweet. I think. <laughs> I'm discarding a Mountain of Plains, a Cursed Mirror, Sun Home, Fortress of the Legion, a Mirror Battle Sphere, Basalt Monolith, and Triplicate Titan. Vandal Blast and a Mountain. Am I also discarding or? Nope, you guys I just stay the same. Okay. Yeah, chat did say one day I'll finish reading this card. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we love that everybody. card. Um, and then after that, I am, I am done. Oh, I am not. Am I done? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm done. After that, I'm done. Untap, upkeep, draw. Let's do this. Twilight Mire, so I can start filtering some mana. Um, and I think... No one's really played any creatures yet, but I feel like they're going to start playing creatures. So <laughs> It'll happen soon. Right? Oh, we'll get to it. We're going to get to it. So I'm going to play my commander here. Well, now so... that Chevelle's out, I'm not playing creatures. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, never now I'm not going to do it. Uh, so Chevelle's 1-3, death touch, beginning of my upkeep. If my opponent controls no permanents with a bounty counter on them, I get to put a bounty counter on target creature or planeswalker on opponent controls. And then when a permanent an opponent controls with bounty counter dies, I gain three life and draw a card. And then I'm going to pass turn. All right, all right. Untap and draw. I will play a mountain as my land for turn. And I will tap three, and I will cast a creature card. Uh, I'm going to cast a foundry inspector. It says artifacts. Oh. I cast cost one less to cast. And I like that one. And pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Wonder if we'll see it again. I, I hope it doesn't <laughs> die. <laughs> but if it does, I hope I get two copies later. Ooh. All right, we have untap, and then we do have an upkeep trigger. We'll do uh, odds will lose me the life. Those are the odds, yeah. Okay, lose the life. All right, welcome to 37. I'm not that old yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll draw. Okay, and we'll play that uh, land for turn, which is War Room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got that on there. A little too much glare. 
Um, let's do... Seven. Just, just let us all draw from Mikakoro. You know what? Yeah, that's, actually, a good, that's a good that's option. A, I like that. That's option. a good option. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do a Mikakoro center to see. Oh my gosh! Thank you. So each player will draw one card. Sure. Thank you very much. I just need to say it and uh, ask, and you shall receive. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, it's, and uh, yeah, ask, and you shall receive. Exactly. So we got. Uh... <clears throat> We got something good off there. We got a mana vault. Ooh. All right. Whoa. Go. That counts as a mana rock, right? Yeah. yeah. It's good mana rock. It's fast mana rock. It's okay. I like it. Not bad. It loses your life, though, if you don't have the mana to untap it. That's that true. Card. We're not going to tap it yet. We're not going to tap <laughs> it. Nothing to, to really do. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll do uh, we'll do the top. I like, okay. I like and, what's uh, going on here. Oh, there's a lot going on there. There's quite gonna, a lot. We're going to sit on that. What if I had kept that Vandal Blast? Right? Oh. oh well, then I'd be, I'd be ruined. <laughs> You're ruined. Yeah. Yeah. Then you would you be would. the first target of Emerald. <laughs> <laughs> but this is true. Just um, you wait. I will pass my turn. Untap. I will draw. And I am going to play a Reliquary Tower. Um, <clears throat> after that, I want to, how many cards are in everyone's hands? Seven. Seven. I just wheeled um, with you. Three. Three. All right. Yeah, this is true. And, and you drew, so you would have had six, but you got seven. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I would like to rousing refrain targeting Mike to get seven Red mana. Add red for each card in target opponent's hand until end of turn. You do not lose this mana as phases end and steps uh, end. Mm -hmm. And then I exile this with three time counters on it, and and now it has sus suspend. Do you feel roused? Ooh, I do. It was okay. quite the refrain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll be a refrain until it happens again. Okay, this is fair. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay, so I am going to play, uh, so I have seven mana. I'm gonna play a combustible gear hulk with six of that. Nice. And Big. I am going to choose Nan Man. Would you like me to draw three cards or mill three cards and you take life equal to the mana value of those three cards I mill? I'm really scared about what would be Exile. Oh, oh, what do I have? Hmm. How many cards do you have in hand right now? Two, three, four. Five. I already have six. You already have six cards. Uh, and you already have a reliquary tower anyway, so. I sure do. You know what? I You can draw cards. I like oh drawing my gosh, cards. We'll let everybody draw so cards. Oh, so much. Keep drawing. He I'm draws like. Good. Three ten mana cards apiece. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Like, like wow. <laughs> Dodged a bullet. Yeah. Oh. What a. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pay. Uh, one more. I'm gonna use my treasure, and uh, so that I with the one, I use six. I had seven. With one remaining, I'm gonna pyretic ritual to get three red mana. Jew, is this the storm off turn? No, it is not. I wish. I'm going to play Crark the Thumbless. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, after that, I'm going to just pass my turn. Okay, so untap, upkeep. Uh, Crark is going to have a bounty counter on him. Because, you know, he just is a little, a little scary. That was fast. Uh, okay. Or... Yep. Crark. <laughs> okay. Crark has a bounty on on its head. Uh, is anyone surprised with recent discourse? <laughs> like, was the, seeing how much you're making mana in a turn off of all those instants and sorceries, and you uh, don't have your commander? I'm just like, you know hey, what? But with only one Crark, it could be zero mana off of all I those instants and sorceries. You're right not there. wrong. That's true. <laughs> it's two Cracks. That's the problem. <laughs> 
You should put a bounty on two crap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think we're just going to keep up this ramp game. I think. Do we want to do it that way? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, let's do it that way. All right. Um, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to play Death Spout. And I'm going to destroy target creature and then search my library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, so there's a creature that happens to have a bounty counter on it that is going to be destroyed here. Goodbye, Kark. And then... Oh, no so no thumbs. No, no thumbs up or down. We'll get... Very meh. It was a, it was a meh death. Just kind of <laughs> showed up and then just walked out. No explanation. <laughs> Turned into a forest. Uh, and then I'm going to gain three life and draw a card. <clears throat> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will pass after that. Ooh. Move. Move. Actually, Lapra, I'm going to poke you for one. You're going to poke me for one. That's fine. Yeah. So, <laughs> and uh, no, no block. Just go to 36. All right. Then I will untap and draw. I will play another mountain as my land for turn. <clears throat> uh, mountain. Yes, one lowly. How much does Oskier cost? Four? Four, yeah. Oh, I'm run it out. Run it out. I'm thinking <laughs> about it. Mesmeric Orbus next turn, then. <laughs> I wouldn't want that in the graveyard somehow. Sounds messy. It's very messy. It's, mm -hmm. The cleanup process is a hassle. Um. Yeah, sure. Let's do Oskier. Oh, perfect. That nice. seems fine. Yes. That seems just fine. Uh, and then I will move to combat. And I am also going to swing three at Lapper. Right. Wow. How could you have done this? Uh, with a creature. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is the best answer. He means, why could you have done this? <laughs> uh, and then I pass the turn. Everyone tempting fate. How curious. Mm hmm. I'm just attacking the person that I'm getting nervous. And chat, you will get to participate when, when someone gets Emrakul. Because we'll hey. just do it so everybody can see how it goes. We're very upfront about the amount of fast mana we're running. 100%. This was discussed prior to the game. We were expecting yeah. this. So okay. We have that upkeep trigger on the mana crypt. Will I take the damage? Yes, if it's odds. And it's even. Nice. So. All right. Way to go. I'm cheering for you, Lapper. It doesn't seem like you are. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> okay, here's our land for turn. Temple of the False God. Oh my gosh. So right you on know, right on most, time. Most people would call that say a, a terrible land, but in in colorless, it's just a pretty bad land. <laughs> I still run it in my deck, so I, I still like that card. Oh my apologies. Okay. Oh, it's happening. It, it might be happening. Uh, let's see what we got on board right now. Well, somebody who is attacking me just played their commander. That's true. That is true. Hmm. But is there anyone who's far behind who needs a boost more than I need to destroy that? I mean, I'm the furthest behind, technically. Hmm. I have not ramped this game. That's true. Mm -hmm. But I do have a creature that makes artifact spells cost one less. You could call that pseudo ramp. Discounting is is quite like ramp. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, what a decision. Do you want to know what how decision. Decision. do you want to know how exciting my hand is? Sure. It's, it's, it's full of juicy stuff. It, I just don't know if I have like the mana to do too much of the juicy stuff, but there is mm. some juicy stuff in it. Okay. Well. Tell you what, we're really early on, so we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do the nice Emrakul, and it's not going to be 
on you. I think we're going to do it to uh, the not fake real net man. <laughs> I, think, I think we gotta, we gotta, we gotta set the record straight. This mm. is the real one, right? You're, you're not some. Not, fake not that fake one man. running around the internet. That's not right. that fake man. Right. Not that fake man, man. Okay. It's Emma Cool time. So we're gonna tap down for twelve, and Emma Cool discounts herself uh, by one. Cards in the graveyard. Uh, we'll go ahead and cast Emma Cool, and uh, we'll target with the cast trigger to run that man. And uh, I think that's, I think that's just about it for this turn. I'll go ahead and pass. Okay, I will untap. <clears throat> and uh, remove one suspend counter from the rousing refrain and draw. Oh my gosh, that's so rousing. <laughs> I'm gonna play uh, a mountain. <clears throat> and then I would like to Pay one, two. Uh, I think it costs one. No, of course I don't. Wouldn't that have been nice? Could have gotten more combustibles. I am going to pay <clears throat> five for a Kiki Jiki mirror break. Oh my Ooh. god. Ooh. Ooh. I would like to tap. Kiki Jiki to make a copy of Combustible Gear Hulk with haste until end of turn. Mm -hmm. With said com Combustible Gear Hulk, I would like to choose Nan Man. You have the highest you, life total. You may draw some cards. Oh my gosh, thank wow. you so much. Wow. <laughs> it's like I'm really a blue player that's stuck playing. Uh, <laughs> green and black this turn so all, all the draws i'm all about <laughs> uh and i'm gonna move to combat and i'm gonna swing i'm gonna do 12 at mike yeah no blocks <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm gonna go to my yen step and i'm gonna exile this combustible gear hulk and i'm done okay that hurts so you <laughs> untap some upkeep. So we've got an upkeep trigger here. Who do you want to put a bounty counter on? That's a good question. Why don't we put a bounty counter on Kiki Jiki? <gasps> nice. Wow. What a, what a great choice. A good choice. Yeah, good choice. And then I'll draw for turn, and I'm going to lay my hand out so you can see There's... all this fun stuff. Yeah, I'll, I... I'll look away. I'm Chad, staring Chad... down at the table. <laughs> yeah, Chad, Everyone just look don't away. type this, all the cards this in. This is a we'll private look away. moment. <laughs> Heads up, seven I rifle up through his mind. How's it going, Chad? I can't read what you're saying, but, you know, I hope everything is going well for you. Oh, Chad did say that they love to see a value Kiki. See, I, I, I will say there is a... Um, there is a zealous conscripts in the deck. So I mean, like I could do that, but I don't have it right now. So we're just gonna do a value kick. There you go. <laughs> and I have six like mana. Said, I'm, uh, I'm, we're being benevolent with this one. So you just go ahead and, and play the turn. And unless you're doing something particularly heinous that I'm not trying to see, I'm I'm fine with you playing this turn out, frankly. Wow, I that's like just that. an extra this, this, turn. This is the benevolence version right. of that. Okay, I see. Remember I see. this for later. I, <laughs> yeah, you know what? All right, I like that. I like that. Can, can we look back at the screen? Yeah, you, you may look back hand? at the screen. I okay. picked my hand up. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so then I am going to... Let's make sure the math is right. Yep, we'll do three and do this uh, tireless provisioner. So that's that three two landfall i get to make a food or a treasure token uh i don't have any land drops but i do have three mana to cast cultivate oh, very so good. i can very good. essentially get two treasure off of this because one's going to enter the battlefield one's going to go to my hand and then i will play that as my land drop for turn so here's the other swamp Get another, get another island. This will enter untapped because that's the land from my hand. And then, let's see, do I want to? All right. Um, do it this way. I'm 
gonna pop these two treasure and tap this forest to play my Ophiomancer so I can make some death touch snakes. Oh, nice. nice. Um, and that's the new the, the new pretty Ophiomancer. It is. Um and then I think I'm to, Do you want to attack? I'll let you make that choice. I'm wide open. Do we have any favorable attacks lined up? I guess Andy's pretty favorable. I'm yeah. I'm wide open. I have wide no open. wide open. No legs. <clears throat> All right, let's let's get Andy. All right. Swinging in, poking you for one. One, one. commander damage. Oh my gosh, I never put my commander in. Devastated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I, I'm taking one to one one from Shovel. Okay. All right, and that's that's all she wrote. All right, now you'll take another turn, and this one is yours alone. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, now we did all that ramping. All right, so untap, upkeep. Let's see. What do you think, um, Chad? Are we getting caught up yet? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good turn, though. Just yeah, getting an extra turn. I like how the Emrakul played that one. Yeah, I was. I'm. You know what? I was scared of Emrakul at first, and after that, I'm like, you know what? Why am I scared of Emrakul? That was great. <laughs> She's such a good friend. Yeah, exactly. It's got my back. You're bro. a friend of Emrakul. Emrakul is a good friend of you. I like that. I would want Emrakul on my side in a battle. That's for sure. Yes, yeah, I yeah. would imagine. Yeah. Yes, you would want your team. You know the number of battles I'm going into. <laughs> you know Very who often. I think I could take in a fight. That thing. <laughs> All right, like, Oscar is gonna be having a bounty on him this time. Oh, sure. We'll divide it up a little bit, and then I'll. So you gain three life and draw a card whenever any creature with the bounty counter on it dies. Correct. Nice. All right. Um, I did not get another land, but we have a way around that. So I'll tap three and play my Yavamaya Elder. And I'm gonna tap two to pop it so I can draw a card. And then I'm gonna go find two basic land cards and uh, put them into my hand. So you get this Bob Ross Swamp. Looks good. And do, 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 do. we get this Metal Forest. I do like the pretty the pretty good array mix of lands you've got here. That's interesting. The styles. Yeah. Figures show off all these cool different different arts that exist. Uh, then we'll play this uh, forest as my land for turn and make a treasure. Oh, I missed here. I have a snake. Because my upkeep, I controlled no snakes. I made a one one black snake creature. Hey, look at that snake mm -hmm. token. Oh, snakes. It's the first of its kind. Yeah. And then I'm going to do four mana off this arcane signet as well to cast uh, Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just keep keep doing stuff here. Keep that instant uh -huh. speed mana up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then... Let's move to combat. And still wide open. I know. I'm going to poke you for one more. Oh, uh, all right. You got me good. Now I've, you've doubled your commander damage on me. How many times has uh, that you've been completely ruined? Twice. Twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I'm going to pass turn after that all and right. do all this untapping of my lands on my end step here. Goodness. We really pushed you ahead. Thank you. Thank you. I will draw for turn. Yeah, that board did develop pretty quickly, at least. <laughs> That's the thing about getting an extra turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will play a Darksteel Citadel as my land for turn. Um... Hmm. Okay. Okay. He's counting how many, how many mesmeric orbs he can make right now. <laughs> currently oh, zero. Carry the carry the six. Yeah, currently <laughs> zero. Carry the six and it's zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I've 
got five mana. Okay, so I could do that, which wouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'm gonna move to combat. Uh, Andy, four Vigilance coming at you. I will take four from Oscar. Main phase two. I will, for three mana, uh, activate my Ozgear and make two token copies of Basalt Monolith from my grave. Oh, Sweet. Oh my god. Uh, then Lapper will... plays out all of his artifacts and Coil says, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tap one of these Basalt Monoliths for three, um, having two remaining mana. For one mana, I'll cast an Alchemist Vial, uh, reduce cost because of Foundry Inspector. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, I draw a card, and then I can pay one and tap it and sacrifice it to have target creature can't attack or block this turn. Mm -hmm. So on ETB, I will draw a card. Um, with the other floating two, I'll cast Mirage Mirror. Mm hmm Oh, great card. Fantastic. Um, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. So I will pass the turn after that. Untap. We will do upkeep. First, we do meta crypts. Odds I take damage. Whoop. Evens. Uh, we will pay four. Pay the four. <laughs> Untap the mana vaults. And then we'll drop her. That pesky one damage was going to get you. <laughs> well, you know, it's more about our future than about taking damage. Right? <laughs> one, two. Oh, our land for wastes. Ah, uh, it's a waste. Nice. What a waste. What a waste. Six. Perfect. Everyone knows this one. Micasynth Lattice. Okay. Oh, I gotta get that Vandal Blast back from my <laughs> <laughs> All permanents are artifacts. All cards that aren't on the battlefield. And all spells and all. Yes. And uh -oh. you all have the uh, Chromatic Lantern. We do. Yay. Nice. The real reason. Oh, gosh. All right. Is there a Karn in there? Is there a Karn in there? Uh, there's a uh, Karn Sign of Urza that gets the, uh, the card okay. Mm, okay, but not the other one. Not, not the mean Karn. The not nice mean Karn, Karn nice yeah. Karn. Generous Karn. <laughs> generous okay. Karn. Speaking of generous Karn, now we need to decide who we're going to attack. Hmm. Look, at that. Look at that 43 life over there. Oh. <laughs> 43 <laughs> life. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Look at all that mana he's got. <laughs> I, look at all that mana he's got. Who did that? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Hmm. I don't know what you're going to be doing with those two basalt monoliths, Mike, but I'm not sure I'm happy well, about it. Let me. So only one can have artifacts. <laughs> well, let me <laughs> let me just put this out there. Okay. I have a mirage okay. mirror so that I can also have an emrakul to block your emrakul. Now that threat, and I assume that was a threat. Not a threat. <laughs> as to defend my life total. <laughs> now I'm that threat is based on the concept that I would really want to avoid having Emrakul die. But I actually really want Emrakul to die. Well, in that case, if there's anything else on the battlefield with flying. <laughs> <laughs> it was a promise, not a threat. Yes. Yeah. 
That's the thing. I don't mm. know if I can... Like, if you swung Emrakul at me, I don't know if I could afford to block because I think I would just die to, like, literally an, in, a, anything in Andy's hand. Oh, Andy has a dumb. hand. Interesting. <laughs> I have two of them. <laughs> I guess I'll ask Andy, because we're, we're hearing that the Basalt Monoliths... Was there any defense of what's about to happen with those basalt monoliths? I tapped Honestly, one for three mana. I don't. Okay, I don't know. Do they I go infinite really fast? Like well, I don't think. I don't. I don't was, think you run an infinite in there. To be fair, with, well, really? basalt, basalt, do you? Basalt monolith with mesmeric orb allows me to mill my entire deck, but I don't have like a. I mean, obviously, I don't have laboratory maniac or anything. Right. Okay. Deck. Okay. And uh, Andy, what's is that just a value Kiki? What What is value Kiki going to do next? Is it going to try to do it's some naughty things? It's Are you taking infinite combats yet? Oh no! I'm I'm not yet. If I draw <laughs> if I draw something appropriate, I might. But as of what's physically in my hand, the answer oh. is no. Mm. Um, my hand's pretty good though. I'll be honest. Yeah. Oh, okay. not that I'm asking. Not that I'm asking for thirteen damage, but I mean, I took I a would casual understand. twelve from Andy last. At week. least we're being honest. All right. Well, so yeah. Third attackers <laughs> onto uh, Andy. That'll be thirteen in the air. Yeah, I'll take thirteen. Okay. And we're cool. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah one you more can Emmer. just you can just sacrifice your own Emrakul to KCI now that it's an artifact. Black yeah. Plant here. Chat to uh, Ducoval says we all know Andy's going to top deck the last part of the combo. <laughs> exactly. Got, That's I, what Emrakul's afraid of. I did get tagged on Twitter this week uh, and a very funny meme, and it was like, "What? My hand's crap." And then, then it was like, "Draws combo." Ha ha! You all used your removal. <laughs> and they were like, "Ha! Is this you, Andy?" I was like, "Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Totally oh, no. seen." <laughs> Uh, that's it for me okay uh untap um chat we got we got an emrakul that gave an extra turn which was very kind it is a it is a group hug emrakul deck kind of but also can win um i uh, remove there. remove one suspend counter from the rousing refrain there's mm. still one suspend counter i will draw it was not the not the not an infinite combat or anything um i am going to play another mountain and then what to do i would like to tap kiki jiki and make another copy of combustible gear hulk and i'm gonna i'm gonna choose i'm gonna choose mike damage all right uh six. Oh my god seven eight nine ten eleven it's eleven yeah much better than having those cards in your hand i will take that <laughs> oh there's my cohort of recruiter yep there's the combo <laughs> <laughs> okay oh risky so you're welcome to the table yeah thanks you're like that. a martyr or a hero yeah something like that <laughs> <laughs> all right um Hmm. Hmm. I would like to move to combat. And Lapper, I'm going to swing at you for 12. Whoa. Or, I'm, yeah, 12. Well, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take 12. And, uh, and hope then... you got a plan for next turn. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a next turn. I'm going to pay four, and I'm going to transmogrify Emrakul, Ooh. exile it, and then you reveal cards on the top of your library until you reveal a creature, and you put that onto the battlefield, and then you shuffle Ooh. the rest of the cards into your library. This nice. is so cool. That's fun. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay. I can't have an Emrakul. Maybe it'll be smaller than an Emrakul, <laughs> or just not commander damage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I'm flipping cards You're, until I hit a creature card? You reveal, yeah, it says uh, that creature's controller reveals from the top of their library until they reveal a creature and you put that one onto the battlefield. I and do or you do? You do. Oh. Yeah. So you're going to get a creature to replace the Emrakul. Yeah, this is a, okay, well, nothing can replace the Emrakul. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that replaces Emrakul is... 
I don't have very many creatures in. Oh, oh, oh all right. Soul and Uphyrexia. That's one of them. And what That's happens to the reveal cards? They get shuffled. Uh, it says that player puts the card on the battlefield, then shuffles the rest into your library. Yeah, Soul and Uphyrexia is a very powerful creature. Is that pay five to make your artifacts indestructible? It makes uh, permanents I control indestructible. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pay two and I'm going to play Goblin Bombardment. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, um, let's see. What's the tireless provisioner's power and toughness? Uh, it's a three, two. Three two, mm -hmm. Little boy. Yeah. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> I think what I do is I just I sack the combustible gear hulk before my turn ends, and I am going to deal uh, damage to uh, gosh, man, forty three. <laughs> I'll do I'll do one more to Lapper. Cool. cool. Uh, and then I'm done. Sweet. All right, untap. What is what is magic if not leaving yourself wide open every turn? Uh, it's it's definitely the... mono. It's the mono red thing to do. For yeah, sure. Exactly. It sure is. It sure is. <laughs> uh, the soul of New Phyrexia will have a bounty on it. Nice. And then... It's gonna be very difficult to get rid of. No. I was like, oh, that completely changes my play now. Now that uh, that's out, it was like, uh, we're going to do... It's that KCI that makes it a problem. Yeah. Always having the mana. Um, that's that value KCI. It really is. We're going to bring out the Hornet Queen. Oh. The flying death Great card. This is where, where Finn comes out the next turn and we all die to What? Impact. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do something like that. <laughs> uh, all right. So I gotta, I'm going to draw some, some flying insects soon. Uh, but I can do that on somebody else's turn. All right. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? You know what? Let's just keep chipping away at people here. Um... Let's see. I might as well just start sending the snake in too. Um, what? Yeah, let's 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 do it like this. Uh, our bane of monsters is coming at Andy, and our one-one death that snake is going to come at you, Lapper. No blockers. I will take one more shovel damage. <laughs> Just kind of help even you guys out a little bit more over there. Um, oh, I I've a created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's a, it's actually the bane of it's... monsters. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. we're the monsters, actually. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. And then I'm gonna pass turn and end step. I'm gonna untap my lands, and then I'm gonna make a bunch of. At, at your end step, I am yeah. going to cycle this Forgotten Cave. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I draw the other cycle land. I did not, so we're good. All right, then I'll untap. I will not untap my Basalt Monolith, because it doesn't do that. I'll draw for sure. You could just switch the Basalt Monolith that are tapped. I mean, I could. Just, no just keep going. Just keep going back and forth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just to activate some ability. Someone's gonna stifle it, and then I'm gonna be sad. Oh, yeah, that would be, that'd be rough. <laughs> I'm gonna play this mountain as my land for turn. Um. Hornet Queen and a ton of insects over there, huh? I mean, it's only four. Seems like a lot. Little bugs. Little, little bugs. How big is Soul of New Phyrexia? 
five. I saw five. Newport Rex is a six six. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 I guess I'm gonna... Does Soul of Dephyrexia have a different piece of like, I guess, I don't know what to say, clothing, hats, of all the Praetors? Is that what's on that? Elish no. Norn's? No, I think this it's uh, Elish Norn's design, so it has that thing uh, on it. Okay. That she's so well known for. She's so fashionable. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a good hat, that's for sure. Yeah. And I think this creature is of her design. Okay, that would make sense. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. Combat has been chosen. Ugh. Welcome to combat. I know, Andy. Yeah. I'm gonna come at you with both of my creatures here for seven. I'll take. I go to ten. I'll take four more Oscar. <laughs> Main phase two. Uh, I will tap two, and I will cast a Commander Sphere. Then, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to tap this commander sphere for a white and then sacrifice it to draw a card. Makes sense. Uh, then I will tap this salt monolith for three colorless. Those bugs are so happy down there. <laughs> and <laughs> flying around death touch, you know, no big deal. <laughs> and I'll use those three colorless to tap Oz gear to create two token copies of Commander Sphere. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, and then I still have one white floating. Uh, I will tap, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll tap my commander spheres. Two, three, four, five. And I'll cast a root to destroy all creatures and they can't be regenerated. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got nothing to say to that, sadly. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, but uh, does, bounty does counter... yeah, Shovel sees the bounty counter people dying? Shovel. Yep. So I oh yeah, and I had one on Kiki Jiki. So you're gaining yeah. nine life. I had one on the soul. Yeah. And Andy, did you want to ping two instead of having them die? To oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess I'll sack two of these, and I um only because you reminded me. So right, I you can come at me. You. I just hit you for seven. Even All though right, you're want, at a low life total. I, I want to do them to you. Yeah, I do. Them to me. All right. For I'm sure. Gonna <laughs> thing to you. Hey, the only reason I attacked you is because you were open, and I'm like, these guys are about to die anyways, so let's get them out of here. Yeah, That's you know, might as well uh, sack soul and, and top will. You're killing her. Okay. Go ahead and sack her to the Clark Clan Ironworks and then use the Sensei's Divine and top. Yep. Sure. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. And then that is going to be the end of my turn. I think of those, the soul, uh, the cycle of souls there, I think the soul of Nufyrexia is my favorite. I always wanted to run the soul of Ravnica, but I never really liked it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it just didn't do anything that I really wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. That one, what does that one do? It does... Uh, Oh, pay seven to draw a card for each color among permanents you control, and then pay seven, exile it, and draw a card for each color among permanents you control. But it's mono blue. Right, so it's like... Uh, paying seven to draw at most five. At most five. At like, most, and it's probably not five. I like the, Yeah, it's uh, probably like three. I like the mono black one. I don't know if that was Zendikar or... Soul whatever. of Innistrad. Innistrad, yeah. I guess it makes <laughs> sense. Because you get to re return cards to your hand or something like that. Three of them, three creatures. Yeah, return three creatures to your hand, then exile it to return three creatures to your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Clad, Clad, thank you so much for for being a patron. Honestly, we cannot thank you enough. Yeah. And thank you for being here tonight. Well, it seems that I may not live another turn after this one. I have to try to make a play here. Let's do it. 
three, um, four, six. How seven. many Emrakuls can we make in a turn? <laughs> oh wait, we it has to be cast, be. I guess. But it has to be cast. Um, Taxes for days says, "Oh baby, yeah. Emmy, yes." <laughs> <laughs> Okay, That's because so of how good uh, how good of uh, actors we are, right? That kind of Emmy, not Emma Cool Emmy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We should do Emmys for Commander streams. Mm. We should. That'd be Best fun. reaction. And, to uh, the Mirror Incubator. Heck yes. Oh. Which is a six meta artifact with six tap and sack it to search your library for any number of artifact cards. Exile those cards and then make a one-one mirror for each card exiled this way. That's I mean, so cool. Now, uh, I only know what this card is. is because of Mike. So silly. Yep. I love it. But I didn't it's have a, a Mycosynth lattice out with this card before. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh it's my like, god. Oh my <laughs> now oh uh, my cards god. that aren't on the battlefield aren't artifacts, so Mycosynth actually doesn't benefit. Oh. Uh, they're okay. just colorless. Uh, yes, they're colorless. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and crack it. Unless uh, responses. No, please. No army response. of army of mirrors, please. <laughs> Armor of me, okay. Army of mirrors. Now this will take a hot second. I'm gonna do it as fast as I can. Okay. Maybe maybe I'll Oz gear back this mirror battle sphere so I can have you know, there you a, go. a fraction of the many of mirrors you have. <laughs> now this deck does run quite a few artifacts. You got it. There's some very nice piano going into music today. Is there? Yeah. There's some, it's jazzy. Slow, jazzy tunes while we get these mirrors? It's, it's a little, it's not, I wouldn't call it slow, but it's not like super up tempo either. It's like a moderate tempo jazz. Is that a, is that a category of jazz? Moderate, moderate tempo? Moderate tempo jazz. <laughs> it is <Yeah>. now. <laughs> when I think of jazz, I just think of that movie La La Land, and I feel like I'm one of the only people that likes La La Land. Oh, I liked I it a lot. I thought it was a good movie, and uh, did it win awards. I feel like it, it did. Feel it. I feel like it did too. Yeah. Although I feel like there are movies that win awards that I just wasn't in love with. Though. Oh, so... you mean like all three Lord of the Rings movies? You don't like Wait, those? Wow! Are you why are you calling like me out on three? Three? I, don't like I, the I, I can't Lord believe you're doing this. Let's back it up. <laughs> I don't even I like Lord of the go. Rings. I like those. <laughs> Chat says it's a persona pause menu music jazz. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, chat says very new Capenna themed. Yeah. We're prepping oh. for new Capenna streams. Yeah, I I'm not a I'm not a Lord of the Rings stan. I, I know it's not an original joke because I it's been used before, but it does very much feel like a very elaborate long hike. Yeah. And uh, I just couldn't get into it, but honestly, I do like Star Wars, yeah. so I feel I was like. Gonna ask you, are you more sci-fi than fantasy? Then e I think so. Okay. I think so. So then you're really looking forward to the Warhammer 40k Commander set coming out at the end of this year. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> um, actually, I don't know anything about Warhammer 40k. I have an expensive hobby that we're currently playing. Yeah, we don't need so, more expensive hobbies. Um, Although Magic I, is a much more expensive hobby than Warhammer. I but depends imagine on how much you want to get into Warhammer, though, because I was doing Warhammer at the same time when I started getting into Magic, and then yep. I was like, I can't do both. I gotta, I gotta pick. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> I mean, I've never had an army that costs as much as my cast deck. That is for sure. That's true. You can definitely spice up commander decks more than you can spice up Warhammer stuff. Maybe how many mirror did we get, Lapper? We ended up getting forty-seven mirror. Oh, Forty. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay. That's yeah. what we call deck thinning, which that's is a that, lot of mana yeah, this, for this a card fan. Right now. You know, that's a good point. That is a lot of mana for KCI. It sure is. So uh, let's let's start doing some uh, some wow. So if we sacrifice uh, mm -hmm. all of those, that'll make oh, fourteen. Mana. You can Emrakul everybody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> needs thirteen, so we'll float to sacrificing. Uh -huh. uh, we can sacrifice eleven of them. Okay, so that'll get us Emrakul. Um, I think the most dangerous person is the monster that I created. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have to hit you, real man. man. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the circumstances have changed. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to do that. And I think. 
how necessary is it really going to be for me to emerald both of you? Is that really something I need to do? Are we all agreed on who the dominant player is at the moment? You I think we know who the problem is. Yeah, you wouldn't get much from me. Um, you would get quite a bit from me, but like... You could wipe my board if you wanted to. I, I have responses you wipe to... You. Well, so mm. in my in my head, I went, you can turn my Mirage Mirror into a KCI and sacrifice my entire board to it. That's true. Oh, so, interesting. So if you do target me with, with one of the triggers, I will be turning Mirage Mirror into a KCI and sacrificing it to itself. So that doesn't happen. Oh. Yes, that's, uh, that's quite clever. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have four mana for that? It's only or, um... two. Oh, Mirage Mirror, you only have to pay two. Oh, not the mana value. That's right. You don't have to pay the mana value of the card, just uh, two. Yeah, right. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Uh, hmm. Decisions. Yeah. We're going to have to... Okay. Yeah, we're just going to hit real man now. We're going to sacrifice an additional uh, three of them. Oh, I know that card. I know that card you're showing. You know this one? Right now. <laughs> yes. You're going to have one floating. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have one floating with for the Koldasha Forge Master. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a really nasty one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Doesn't have haste, though. Doesn't that's, have haste. That's good. Uh, and then you're going to do two more mana for lightning. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, uh, empty clean Oh, wow. Mm. Hey, maybe it's at the top of your deck. You could always activate that sensei. I know, right? <laughs> What are the chances? It could be. Oh, there. God, that'd be so good. <laughs> Super. <laughs> oh, no, Mind Slaver. Uh... Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, I actually ended up taking that out because I already have a Mind Slaver and it's the commander. You know? That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I don't think any of that's going to help me. So. Yeah, that's where we'll sit with. Uh, pretty much a very threatening board site that's yeah. very vulnerable yeah yeah all right Blast cool, that's, that's the power of haste or not uh, <laughs> um all right rousing refrain how many cards are in everyone's hand uh zero Eight. oh i have five i'm gonna choose an and man mm -hmm. to get eight red mana and then this goes back to suspend that card's so cool yeah, yeah that's cool I do like these. I'm going to draw a card for turn. <clears throat> I play the blue and the white refrains in my Vega deck, but I don't know if they've ever actually triggered off a suspend before. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was coming back to my turn, if I was going to die to an Emrakul before I got to, to yeah. get a second one. Right. Um, okay, so I have eight red mana. I would like to... Um, I don't have a way to get anything back from my graveyard, and I um, could not seem to line up my draws at the right time, so I'm going to do it different. So this was cast. My mana doesn't, um, so Rioni will get me a copy of something, though. Yep. Hmm. Well, two copies, right? You get one It'll be plus two X plus one, correct? Yeah. Um, I am going to pay five for Rionia. I have three mana floating. I would like to pay a red. Uh, I guess my mana doesn't actually leave as phases end, so I should probably keep up as much red as I can, right? So I'll do uh, red. I'll pay. Well, yeah, I'll do a colorless. So I am going to have four mana floating then. So I have four red mana floating. Um, I'll do one of it. I'm going to play Zealous Conscripts. Hmm. Here we go. So I'm going to gain control of target permanent until end of turn. Untap it, that permanent gains haste. I too would like to swing with an Emrakul. Now, when you swing with that Emrakul, will that be sacrificed immediately afterward? It's sacked at end of. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, mm. Mm. I see what you're saying. No, I don't have to sacrifice it, Adam. You don't have to sacrifice it. I don't have to. And no. you also don't have to swing it at me. 
correct. Because if you do plan on swinging it at me, then... The, uh... the thing is, if... So when I get that Emrakul, yeah. I can I can make two copies of Emrakul. We love that. But she is legendary. But her ability would still it's, go on? Or is no, it cast, cast only? It's cast. Oh, it's cast. Only cast. Okay. Cast. All oh, right. Cast. Well, you know what? It's fine. I can swing. 13 damage in the air is still really good. I'm, I won't. I won't. I won't sacrifice it. You can have I'm, her back. I'm going to allow this. Right. This is Emrakul. I'm just, let me just push her across the screen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Uh, or, or I guess down here. We assume it's like in video games, right? Go right. Swing. Oh, yeah. Just, oh yeah. Keep yeah. scrolling. Keep yeah. scrolling. Yeah. Keep it's scrolling. Like, keep, yes. Yeah. Just feed it through. <laughs> There we go. And now it's here. <laughs> um, I would like to move to combat now. Are you going to swing that Ember Cool at me, Andy? I'm not sure what I'm going to do quite yet. I'm trying to figure out if I make Ember. Well, I can't make an Ember Cool, so I'm going to make Zealous Conscripts. Right. So. <clears throat> I mean, you can do it in response regardless. What? Before no, blockers. I'm, I'm thinking about something else. Oh. Oh. More spice. Um. No. Okay. I mean, I won't swing at you this combat. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. That's, that is if I have multiple response. combats, I definitely won't do it the first one. Asterisk. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. I'll take that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make two zealous conscripts. And I would like to take. Are there other creatures on the battlefield or no? Uh, yes, yes, there's all those mirrors. Kaldotha Forge Master. Oh, Kaldotha and some mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't want the mirrors. I'll take the Kaldotha though. Okay. Because I have three artifacts, right? Now, yeah, do me a favor and don't sacrifice that thing to itself, all right? <laughs> <laughs> because if you, if you did plan on doing that, then I wouldn't be able to let you have it. <laughs> but it's a good friend. It's a good removal right now, then. I suppose. That's that's not a bad play. I think it's fair to ask. You want to borrow it? You can use it. Just don't break it. Yeah. That's actually, that situation. is a good way. To you break break it. it, you buy it, um, mm -hmm. or you you break it, you ruined it. That's what it is. I I'm probably gonna sack it. I'll You're probably honest. gonna sack it. Yeah, because I have these tokens that will end up going away. So there are artifacts right. that I can get rid uh, of. In response to you targeting it, I'll I'll hit it with the KCI. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a mirror. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else, right? Nanman, you don't have a creature. No, yeah. All my creatures died. Okay. I'm going to take one mirror. <laughs> uh, one <laughs> mirror I... has been sent over to your house. It'll <laughs> take all, together. all right. I'm just going to say this is a mirror. Uh, I would like to move to combat. Um, Nanman, I am going to swing at you for 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20. Are the mirrors one ones or are they one ones? They are one ones, yes. Uh, 20, uh, 13 plus 9 is 21 uh, plus 1, 22. I will block it with my face. Boom. Or it's 23. I'm sorry. Yeah. 23 to your face. To the face. Okay. Uh, 13 of that is Emrakul Commander Damage. Um, before end of combat, I would like to play for five mana, Savage Beating. So I untap all creatures I control after this phase. There's an additional combat phase. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I'm going to untap all creatures I control. I'd like to move to that combat phase. Yes. Okay. Rionia is going to trigger, and I have now cast one, two spells. So I'm going to make three copies of Zealous Conscripts, I guess. This is starting to get dangerous. I only have one mana left. Uh, 
here's so, these three. I guess yep. I guess with the trigger on the stack, it's gonna happen either way. But I'm going okay. to. Uh, yeah, I mean, this will probably kill me, but that's okay. I'm gonna uh, pay one, and I'm gonna sacrifice my alchemist file, which yeah. says target creature can't attack or block this turn, and I'll target Emrakul. Okay. Ooh. I yeah. knew that'd be targeting Emrakul the moment I saw that hit the right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a still... powerful card to have against Emrakul. I mean, yeah, I, if, really if, if Andy swings everything at me, I still die though. So. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have the mana for Mirage Mirror anymore. Now, I mean, you could have used the threat of that to force him to throw it at somebody else. This is true. Well, but, but I'm not. I'm not trying to backseat your game. That's, no, I am. Um, so you're you're at 15 life with no blockers, and yep. Nan Man's at 29 with no blockers. I have 369, 18. 22. I have 22 damage. Plus the um, goblin bombardment damage? Correct. I have 28 damage. That's... So I'm going to do uh, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 at Mike. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six at Nan Man. I will take the six. I got no blocks. I'm down to one. I figure then at least nothing bad will come my way or I'll just sack something maybe. Yeah. So I'm going to then end of turn. I'm going to sack three, four, five, six creatures. I'm not sacking the Emrakul. I'm going to sack six of these. And I am going to deal six damage to Nan Man. Mm -hmm. And the Emrakul will go back over to Lapper. Much appreciate it. And I am done. I appreciate oh. living. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> if you call that living. Well, but now, now Nan Man's going to have uh, two turns in a row here. So. All right. Oh, because oh, Lapper no. takes the first yeah, one. That's right. I'm in control of this turn. Yeah. Yep. And guess guess what I top deck? Oh. Let's find out. I top can't see that. Deluge. Oh. oh. <laughs> that's oh, no. hilarious. That, that sounds. Yep. That sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So it doesn't really. I'll just show everybody what I got else. I have this uh, Phyrexian Reclamation, so I could have brought back this lovely Hornet Queen if I wanted to, Ooh. and then I have this Finale of Devastation, so I could have. Yeah. Like, here's here's the problem, uh, is that I am definitely going to cast that Toxic Deluge. Yeah. The yeah. question is, am I going to do anything before that? Right. So here, let's. I got a, I got a swamp. If that you was want. a really bad spell to top deck. I know. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, Veil of Summer doesn't matter for this game. Draw's Messenger. Um, Wither Bloom Apprentice. Precision Deed. And Hithonia the Cruel, which is that monstrous blow up. All I not. think Hithonia is uh, such a cool card. Right? Good right. old Born of the Gods. <laughs> That's a big hand. I think yeah, that's and nine cards. Day, there's just nine cards. Oh, Quite God, the combo. You you I even mentioned it earlier. I know, uh, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's one. I have no way to tutor for it. I mean, it'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, you could you could always pernicious deed and destroy all permanents on the battlefield right that's, now. That's true. <laughs> Oh my wow, god. Wow, I could do that, couldn't I? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How much mana do we have? Uh I have one mana in my hand that I can play. Otherwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, if you count the two treasures that I have. So the pernicious, pernicious date is three plus X. Uh Pernicious it's deed an, it is, is yeah, it's three mana to cast it, and then X. And that's uh, extra all, less. Yes, extra yeah. less. Yeah. Okay. And you still have Soul of a New Phyrexian in your graveyard over there, Laffer? Oh, I sure do, bud. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Cool. yeah, this is about to get <laughs> real dirty. Yeah. This is about to get really dirty. Okay. Yeah. I think that's really all we need to do. So we're going to float all of your mana, of course. All right. Do you want me to play this other swamp so we have more mana? Sure. Let's do that. Sweet. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, yeah. 12, 13. Let's be bad guys. Uh, pernicious dude. Mm -hmm. So I got uh, 10 mana floating. Yep. And... Shoot son. X equals zero. Uh, yeah, we don't need to hit anything above that. <laughs> We're just going to hit every zero. single land on the battlefield. Yep. That's what, that's what that'll do. Uh, it doesn't kill uh, lands. Yes, it does, because they're all artifacts. <gasps> there are artifacts! No! You're right! Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, name X equals zero, and uh, <laughs> then we're going to probably have a round of priority, because I'm going to be sacrificing and doing things. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna be keeping my Darkstell Citadel. Dark that's Steel a good Citadel. point. Yeah. You are going to be keeping that. And that's why you're running that card. The coil has yeah, the most sure. lands now. <laughs> because <laughs> of pernicious deed. Yeah. <laughs> And Mike, Mike has sent Lattice. No, no, I, I, I think Lapper's still going to have the most lands if he chooses to uh, solve the fire. Oh, so I, oh, I yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so that'll be three of these guys. So we have 10 mana still floating. Sir Davos, how are you tonight? Yeah, aim is great. Orexia out of my graveyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And everything will be hunky dory. Yes. Always. Everything is fine. Everything's Everything is fine. not fine. <laughs> Everything is not fine. Then we're going to go ahead and do the Toxic Deluge, and we're going to pay uh, 17 life. Yep. Goodbye. <clears throat> bye. I much appreciated those spells. That was really helpful. Yeah. Bye bye, Nan Man. <laughs> I'll miss you. Emrakul giveth, Emrakul taketh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and the sacrifice in life is part of the cost, so it never actually resolves. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, you true. can make it 16, I guess. You can't pay life you don't have. Right. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that'll end the turn and go to the next turn, which is yours, which ends immediately. And then we go to uh, Mike. Yeah. Who is currently at one life. I'm at one life. You only get one shot. Then we draw for turn. That was really dirty, real net man. I feel that was <laughs> no, no, that was <laughs> because it was I'm... like, all right, I'm all set up. I'm ready to kill everybody with infect during my turn. It'll be great. And then it's like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, top deck. Okay, I'm going to play a mountain as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. This guy's mm -hmm. twice as many lands as everybody else. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what do i do turn turn into kci get a bunch of mana do something with that's what that's like <laughs> that's I like your best to. option right i would love to i just don't know what i can do with it you know that's my problem that i'm dealing with right now do i have anything in the graveyard that's gonna matter probably not um, okay. I mean, you're absolutely right, though. It is the best move. Um, so I will pay two mana to turn my Mirage Mirror into a KCI. Yep. Uh, I will then sacrifice my Mycosynth Wellspring to the KCI, adding two colorless, and I'll search my library for a basic, but it's not going to be relevant since I already played a land for turn. Uh, I'll sacrifice both of my uh, token copies of Bas... Uh. Well... 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 You can draw two cards if you tap. Oh, but you want to sacrifice for mana. The Commander Spear, probably. Yeah. yeah. Let's do... Um, let's use these two colorless to cast them as Miracle Orb. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll use... Can you tap all creatures each player controls? Lapper would mill out, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> sack all the creatures before his turn. Right. I might mill out. My library is very uh, slim <laughs> at the moment. Mostly um, land. I'm yeah. going to tap both of these commander spheres for white mana. Mm -hmm. And then... Sacrifice both of them to KCI. Four colorless and two white. Yeah. 
How useful is KCI? It's a great card. It's the most useful I've ever seen in Commander so far. What I'll you've been doing with this, crazy. I'll sacrifice one of the Basalt Monolith tokens to KCI. It's a lot of mana. We're gonna make a big play here. I'm gonna uh, you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my combo here and mill myself until I see something that might be relevant. Ooh. Okay. So by using three okay. for for all the the watchers out there by using three colorless mana, I can untap Basalt Monolith. And Ms. Mirakorp says whenever I untap a permanent, uh, or whenever anyone untaps a permanent, they mill a card, and then I can tap it for three, and I can repeat this loop. Uh, okay. Infinum. So. You're just gonna hmm. mill. Yeah, the first. Do you want to set him out in front? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So first card I have is Sculpting Steel, which is pretty good. Return to Dust, Slayer Stronghold, Evacuation Technique, Cleansing Nova, which doesn't help. Mountain, Rogue's Passage, Boral Signet, Sleeper Dart. Uh, that doesn't help. Our Kaomancer's map doesn't help, although it would work. Planes, uh, Piston Sledge does not help. Boros can you get things back from your graveyard oh, right I, now? I can, yes. Okay. Uh, Felden of the Third Path, no. Planes, Duretti, Mountain, Scrap Troll. Mike just wanted us to show, he just wanted to show off his deck. I just want to show off the whole deck. That's, <laughs> That's really a good opportunity. Hey, got all these cool cards I'm running, guys. <laughs> Um, we'll keep going. Hellkite Tyrant, Goblin Engineer. Hellkite <gasps> okay, Tyrant, everything's an artifact. <laughs> Wake the Past, Thousand Year Elixir, Temple of the False God, Burnished Heart, Faithless Looting, Karn the Great Creator, which would be pretty That's tough. the evil Karn. That's, That's the, the evil, evil one. one. <laughs> Steel Overseer, Steel Hellkite, Thopter Engineer, Reckless Fireweaver, Mindstone, Phyrexian Core, Plains, Exotic Orchard, Duplicants, Thicker Wellspring, Lorehold Campus, Mountain, Bronze Guardian, Key to the City, Great Furnace, Temple, Lotus Bloom, that one's pretty good. Uh, Audacious Reshapers. This is a hell of a mill. Zerta the Dawn Waker. That one would produce infinite colorless mana with Basalt Monolith. Oh, because it makes it hot less. Yeah, but I don't mm. have enough mana to actually make that happen, unfortunately. Combustible Gearhulk, Arcade Signet, Married Landscape, Ugin's Nexus. Can't bring it back. Boros Charm, Ancient Den, <laughs> Blasphemous Act, Soul Ring, Plains. Maybe Ugin's Nexus is one of the top cards for planes. him. People want to <laughs> deny the extra turn. But it's Avenger, a gift. Dig Site Engineer. <laughs> Unstable Obelisk. Mountain. Battlefield Forge. I'm going to go down to... Um, yeah. How many cards are in your deck? Not this many left. Not. not many left. I'm worried. Battle Mages Bracers. PNLR. Joyra's Familiar. Secluded Step. Meteor Golem. Dispatch. I have one card left Which in my patch? library. It's Dispatch. Dispatch. It's this one. <laughs> Dispatch. We'll mill it. Okay, so we have just build our entire library. Oh, oh mill it, bud. Okay. Uh huh. Can someone Which make Mike fine. draw? Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, you can. You can. If once he not, untaps the. Not right this moment, but once it oh. gets to my turn. Okay. Oh, it's true. Is land. <laughs> okay. We've got we've got Mike held hostage. He's on the road. Sun Titan. <laughs> And do you have any mana floating left? No. Okay. Um, but I can bring back an artifact and then, you know, do some Keep sacrifice going. stuff, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, because <laughs> if I bring back Scrap Trawler, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything. So let's. So so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring back sculpting steel and it'll be a copy of Ms. Miric Orb. Okay. And I oh. pass. <laughs> oh okay. That's, that's that's about all I got there. You know, I uh I was worried something might happen. Yeah. Uh <laughs> no need to worry. Oh. Good. Good. 
good. <laughs> so you untap, you're in a mill two for each permanent you untap left? Yeah. Or? I really don't mind. All right. Three. So I'm in a mill 18. Well, the you have to pay for the mana vault, right? Yeah, it oh, actually excuse me. Thank you. Yeah. It does um, not. So I'll mill uh, six. Does the Emrakul untap? When it goes back was, to your... not, uh, was not tapped. Didn't you? Didn't what? Didn't the zealous conscripts attack with it? Oh, I guess did, it did. did. I, I did. did. I'm sorry. Okay. It was tapped. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So this will also untap. So it is 18. Okay. Okay. Mill into just the yard. Yeah. Nothing too interesting here. <laughs> it was like mostly, mostly lights. lights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. But it's probably half half your remaining library. That Emrakul costs so little now. Other than the commander tax, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much that you can deduct your own cost. Yeah. There's only so many yeah. card types. It's um, only what? Like, is it six or is it seven? Uh, she counts six. I so we got land, planeswalker, that's two. Artifact is three. Creature is four. Sorcery is five. And that's five. So she's five less. The other ones I can count as what? Instant and also tribal spells? Um, I mm. don't think the tribal counts for her. Oh, okay. Because tribal is... Yeah, I've looked into this. I don't I don't run very many tribal spells. Yeah. yeah. It, I am running one tribal spell, and it is in my graveyard. And oh, okay. you can probably guess which one it is. All is dust. Yeah, all is dust. Yeah. Yeah. War Warping Whale isn't tribal? Harping Will is tribal, but it's not in my graveyard. Oh, okay. I don't. I thought I, I do saw it. It, it, it. You did see it. Yeah, you did, you did see it at one point. Okay. Is it, uh, it, you know what? It went to exile. That's where. It went. Oh, gotcha. So that's not a thing anymore. Um, okay. So let's figure out if we can end the game on the spot right here. Let's go to upkeep. Um, probably not gonna pay for that. We're gonna see if we take damage from matter. Odds will take damage, and I, I do take damage. Oh, 12, I can do two more. <laughs> Mike, you got the, the other got, 10. I've got nothing, actually, <laughs> zero things. I will go to the draw step. I could have, uh, in hindsight, swung in with an Emrakul. Mm, this is true. I, I probably would have, if I guess if it was at Lapper. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been wild. And, okay. and then it would have been up to that coin toss on whether or not Lapper lives. That's true. It's all draw a card, right? We're all, all going to draw? Yeah. Draw card. Mm -hmm. I, I don't right? have the ability to do that, actually. Oh, then you lose. Oh, I lose the game. Shoot. Damn. Shucks. How did that happen? <laughs> did you How did do that happen in, in your entire library? In Boros <laughs> colors? Not being able to draw? What? What? <laughs> That's just that's just something else entirely. Yeah. Uh okay. So you got I have one blocker on the ground and no mana. And no mana. What tricks do you have up your sleeve, Andy? They're short sleeves. Short sleeves. So so few. Very few tricks. <laughs> I'm gonna count my soul. Not as many in my button downs. <laughs> and uh I think we're gonna see what you have up your short sleeves yeah let's go to combat mm -hmm. and uh we're gonna swing in uh 13 plus 29 so 42 i'm gonna die okay Boom. good game good game, good game. great game oh great. my gosh <laughs>